Hello again everyone and welcome back to Reddit Aliens. I'm John and as always thank you so much for being here. Good broad topic today, a lot of topics covered. Let's do it. What are your scariest? Paranormal, glitch in the matrix, black eyed children, or skinwalker stories? Please remember to like, share, say hello, and subscribe. It was late at night, December, full moon. Snow covered the ground and the moonlight reflected off the snow. It almost felt daylight outside. I walked to my garage, separate from the house, to grab a soda. I saw my neighbor was feeding his chickens. He seen me and waved, so I walked over and asked him, Why are you feeding so late? He said, passed out in my chair. Also, would you mind doing me a favor? I said, sure. He said, I have a tool of your dad's I was using and I need to return it. It's inside. I'll be right back. I stood there for a second and he came back out and handed me a Dremel tool. A few more short words and we said goodnight and parted ways. I set the Dremel on the kitchen counter and go lay down in my room. In the morning my dad came in my room and said, hey monk, what did I say about soda in your room? I woke up and said sorry and I started getting out of bed. He then said, hey, did you set this Dremel on the counter? I said, yes sir. And he said, where did you get it? I said, John. And he said, when? I said, last night. He said, impossible. John is in Texas for his daughter's Air Force graduation. I said, I saw him last night feeding his chickens. And he said, I'm taking care of his animals. He's not going to be back home till Wednesday, four days away. Did you break into his house and steal it? He asked. I said, no way. I didn't even know he was borrowing a tool. So he walked me over to his house and he wasn't home. The house was locked. We even called John and he said he was in Texas. I still have no explanation of what happened. Not sure if this counts as scary or not, but I'd say it was one of the oddest things to happen to me. When I was a kid, I absolutely loved this cartoon called Reboot. Had an action figure of one of the protagonists, Bob, brought that toy with me wherever I went until I lost it. Every now and then, over the years, I'd rip through my things thinking I'd find it, but never did. When I was almost about 19, I'd lost my mom and her entire estate went to her husband. Maybe five or six years after that, he decided to sell the house I grew up in. While it was on the market or shortly after it was sold, I decided to go to the property and say goodbye to the house, so to speak. The house had a good amount of acreage and was secluded, so walking around the property and the outside of what felt like a husk of a house have me some pretty odd vibes. Anyway, I was walking around the side of the house and onto the patio when I noticed something small on the ground. It was my Bob action figure. I'd lost it around 12 years ago just sitting on its ass like it had been waiting. A little paint worn and what looked like little bite marks on the hair, but in pretty good condition regardless. I was a little creeped out, decided to grab that toy and leave. It felt like a parting gift. So late to the party, but why not? I used to have sleep paralysis episodes for a few years when I was like 17 to 20. When reading into it, I learned many people experience hallucinations and terrors while having an episode of paralysis due to the dream part of the brain not shutting off right away or something. This had never happened to me and my episodes just consisted of paralysis with the heavy weight feeling on my chest for about five minutes before I came to. But I was aware of the possibility of dreams when having an episode. One night I wake very suddenly, like no grogginess, just bam, wide awake. It's dark in my room, but not pitch black from the moonlight coming through the curtains. So I wake up and immediately there's a face hovering right above mine, maybe a foot away really close but not touching noses close. I remember what I had read about sleep paralysis, so I'm not freaked out at all, I'm just kind of staring at this figure, waiting for my brain to fully wake up. Note that I wasn't having an episode, I was able to move. While I'm staring, I notice how clear the face is. Even though the figure was completely black, I was able to make out features like its nose and cheekbones, chin, etc. It seemed like it was darker than the rest of the room. The figure was pitch black while the room was just dark. So I'm laying there for a while because I'm thinking my brain is being weird, but this is kind of neat, so I'm just analyzing it. About 10 minutes have gone by, and I'm thinking to myself, I really think I'm awake by now. What the hell is this thing? Is this actually a thing? I should note, I didn't feel threatened at all the whole time, like it was just watching me, but not maliciously, but not necessarily in a good way either. At this point, even though it wasn't really getting bad vibes, I'm starting to get a little freaked out because the clarity of the figure and the fact that I've been able to watch it for a solid 10 minutes and it's still there, just looking back at me. So I start to sit up and it mirrors my movement, pulling its head back as I rise, keeping roughly the same distance. 
I can see its body now, and it's fairly big but pretty thin, hunched over on the floor at the foot of my bed, probably about 10 feet tall if it had been standing. After sitting up, I decide to keep watching it for a while before I move again, so we just watch each other for another 5 minutes. Slowly getting more freaked out, I figure it's time to turn on the lights, so I slowly take my covers off and I step out of the bed to the right to the light switch, keeping my eyes on the figure as I go. His head follows me while I make the journey to the door and I stare at him again one last time before hitting the lights, kind of shaking my head and rubbing my eyes to snap myself to my senses to see if that helps. He's still there, and starts kind of leaning back a bit. I flip on the lights, and he instantly vanishes. Never saw him again, or had any similar experiences. Really strange, mostly because of how long it lasted. If I was still dreaming, or whatever, I think I would have gone away. I had trouble sleeping for a few nights, even though I didn't think he meant any harm. My mom passed away in October of last year from COVID. Every now and then I'd go into her car to talk out loud in hopes that she could hear me somehow. I'd tell her about my day and stuff like that. It helped me cope. I'd listen to music on her radio sometimes. One day I went in there for a breakdown to just cry and put on the radio. The song that's playing, So Sick by Neo, was one of her favorites. I started crying harder. Song ends and the next song to play is Make Me Wanna by Usher. She loved Usher. At this point I'm thinking she's gotta be with me or trying to let me know something and I'm in a full on breakdown, a complete mess. Here's where what happened still sticks with me is really weird and just what the hell. My mom's name was Dawn. Me and her would have conversations sometimes and joke about how her name was a popular soap, Dawn Dish Soap. The Usher song ends. Some random song plays and I'm thinking in my head, please tell me something mom, give me anything. And as that song ends, I shit you not, a Dawn Dish Soap commercial comes on the radio. I freak the F out, like not in a good way, but like actual panic and fear that something like that just happened. I came in the house and broke down even more to my dad about what happened. I remember I just kept trying to wrap my head around why a radio station dedicated to old school R&B hits had an ad about Dawn Dish Soap of all things. It wasn't concert tickets or the host just talking, but Dawn Dish Soap. Just really creepy to me how it all happened like that. I haven't had very many paranormal things happen to me, so this isn't all that scary, but it's the scariest thing that has happened to me. I was laying in bed one night trying to fall asleep. I'm just laying there with my eyes closed when for some reason I opened my eyes. And what I did, I saw the face of a man roughly four or five inches away from my face. I knew it wasn't an actual person because it was somewhat see-through and he was just white gray, no color to his skin or eyes. Also, because I was laying on my side and his face was upside down, from my perspective, in actuality it was like he was also on his side, but just from the other direction. And because of his positioning, his body would have been going through my wall. I never saw a body though, just his head. It was an older man, maybe in his 70s, gray hair, short gray beard, slightly chubby face. He was just staring at me. He didn't seem threatening to me at all, so I didn't move, say anything, or have any reaction at all, and I just kind of stared back at him for what felt like minutes, but was probably only about 10 seconds. So then I decided to close my eyes again for a couple of seconds and reopen them, and then he was gone, and that was it. This happened to me somewhat recently, like in the last year or two, but I can't remember exactly when. When I was 12, I went camping in a small valley with my dad somewhere in North Carolina. I remember we had to park on the side of the road and hop the guardrails to hike down a trail to this site on the river. We set up camp and all that. Then around 1 to 2 a.m. I woke up and got this really eerie feeling that something bad had happened. Didn't know why and thought maybe I'd woken up from a bad dream. Nope. Not even five minutes after waking up, I see all these lights through the canvas of my Eno, those hammock things. I froze up. Heard my dad get out of his tent beside me and it turned out it was the police investigating a suicide. They had found a suicide note in a bottle or something a couple of yards from where we were parked their car and were checking if we were alright. Still very creepy to me even to this day. A couple years ago now, my mother was working from home, it was 9pm ish and I went downstairs to get a drink. I saw my mom working in her open office and said to her, almost done? She said, yeah. I finished my drink and went back upstairs. My parents room was at the top of the stairs to the right and as soon as I reached the top step, the door opened and my mom stepped out, scared the shit out of me. I ran back downstairs and my mother was not there. 
I walked back up the stairs and she was rightfully very confused. I asked, when did you get upstairs? She responded that she had been upstairs since 7. Really don't have an explanation for that one. I had a few paranormal experiences in my life, but this one was by far the creepiest. I was walking home one night from my volunteer work at the theater, a walk I had made at night many times. Near my house, there is this park where there's a large field with a few copses of trees. As I came down the road by the church, I rounded a corner and happened to glance toward the trees. I saw a figure stood amongst them, very tall. I'm six feet, and this was definitely taller than me. It was draped all in black, black hood. This was weird, as in England, it is extremely out of place. I looked at it for a good ten seconds or so, and then I glanced ahead. I was still walking, and glanced back at it, was completely gone. The copse it was in was only about five or so trees, and I had heard no movement. I picked up the pace and even crossed the road. I kept looking behind me, but I never saw whatever it was again. That creeped me out. One other time was during the middle of the day. My grandmother and I were driving over the hills to a town for the day again, a drive we had made many times before. I was in the back, and I looked up at the hills and saw a person in the distance stand up from a kneeling position. The only thing was to be that far away and that tall. This thing had to have been about 20 feet tall. Not even joking. I blurted out, what in the F is that? And my mom saw it too. Statue? She said. I saw it move, I said. It was knelt down. My mom was convinced it was a statue, until we went home the same way, and it wasn't there again. There were some old fire trucks in the field up there, like antique ones, and these looked like Tonka toys compared to the size of whatever the hell that was. While it wasn't an immediately scary as the first encounter, that was certainly the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life, and it was seen by someone else. Looking back, it was incredibly eerie. I have not the foggy semblance of an idea as to what it could have been. Seeing something unexplainable is in and of itself, I'm sure, frightening or scary or at least hair-raising. But having someone else see it too? Mm. Odd. I remember a story my dad told me once. When he was a child, he once had a dream he was flying around in his childhood home at ceiling level. He took the opportunity to explore a lot of high places he couldn't otherwise reach. He opened up all the wall cabinetry in the kitchen above the countertops. He woke to the sound of his mom making a fuss from downstairs. He entered the kitchen, and all the cabinets were inexplicably open. Maybe some kind of astral projection? Maybe he was sleepwalking and really did climb on the countertops and open the cabinets? Still an interesting story. This happened last week at my work. Some background. There's a laundry room at my work that has a few bins filled with my work's merch that workers can take. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, etc., and one of my coworkers didn't know about it and asked about my zip-up since it's a work one. I showed him the bins that had everything. One had t-shirts, two of them had the same hoodie in different sizes, and the last one had the zip-up that I was wearing. There used to be hats, but we had been out for a while. We opened them all up and looked for the zip-ups for her and found them. But before she took it, she went to go ask our manager if it was cool and shut the bins. I went with her, got the okay, and when we came back, we opened up the bin with the zip-ups, and they were all gone. What was in there? The hats? The hats were nowhere to be found less than five minutes ago. The crazy part was that we both saw the zip-ups, and even commented on the sizes and stuff. They're nowhere to be found now. Only thing in that bin are the hats. Middle of the night, I went to the washroom, and my cat wandered into the bathroom with me. I started petting him, and when I looked up about 20 feet out, there was also my cat. I looked back down to see and he was gone. I looked up to where he apparently teleported and he was gone from that spot too. Still to this day, I have no idea what actually happened, but I'm convinced my old cat could teleport. I had also let him outside and he'd just randomly be wandering the house after I let him out. Didn't you read your cat owner manual? All cats can teleport, duh. I was still living with my parents, up late one night watching TV. Our dog was with me laying in my lap. There were no lights on in the house, just the glow of the TV. Around 3 to 3.30 a.m., I saw someone walking down the stairs out of the corner of my eye. I turned to look and see who it was, expecting one of my parents to tell me to turn off the TV and go to bed. As I turned my head toward the stairs, I saw the shadow of a person coming down the stairs. Nobody was there. I wanted to tell myself it was just a shadow from the light of the TV screen, but my dog had woken up and looked at the same exact spot. 
She looked up at me after we stared in the darkness at seemingly nothing, and the look of fear on my dog's face made my blood run cold. It wasn't the only instance in that house. My older sister was a huge science nerd. She's a middle school science teacher now, and she had glued those glow-in-the-dark stars and planets all over her ceiling. There was a period of time where she'd turn off the lights to go to bed, and things would block out the flow and the dark stars above her bed as she looked up, as if something was standing over her and moving around the room. There were nights where she'd wake up the whole house screaming from it. I'd hear noises in my room. Sometimes it was long, drawn-out hiss that sounded like it was coming from right over my shoulder, and other times I'd hear things moving in my closet. I tried to justify the hissing as the sound of cars driving by outside, but we lived in a quiet suburban neighborhood, and the sound would carry on much longer than a car simply passing by. One day I was going through my closet, and there was a massive cane toad in my closet. My room was on the second floor of my house. There was no logical explanation as to how it got there. Years after my siblings and I had moved out, my parents had decided to get a divorce. My dad had moved out and got an apartment across town. Late one night, my mom was coming home from work. As she was rounding the corner to get to the front door, she saw a tall, dark silhouette standing in front of the patio door. She said it had no defined features, but it was close to seven feet tall. She asked my dad to come over the next day and put in a bright motion sensor light right outside the patio door. That house always gave me the creeps.